Welcome one, welcome all to another Forward video. You guys left in the comments that I should do a sequel of this and show you how to do the landscape. So the first step is you're going to go to settings, click on settings, and then scroll down. So take this off. Try advanced settings. So, so it doesn't look like landscape is here, guys, maybe in future updates, but you could, tr you could try the Prefer Legacy HD mode. I recommend it, but I don't usually use it. Um, rumble is only when you have Bluetooth controllers. Vibrate on touch, you can have it on none, but I don't really like when my buttons vibrate every single time I press the button, so I like to have it off. You can change cores, so yeah, the Nintendo DS core is, you can do Melon DS or DS. I recommend you change it to Melon DS. I recommend it. You can do external devices, reset bindings. No, I don't, that, that's not really an important feature. Display filter, you can do auto, sharp, smooth, CRT, LCD, whatever you decide. HD, this HD mode looks like an upscaling filter, so this may actually be the scaling feature. You could try it out, but I recommend don't because it might, it might mess up your game quite a bit. Always, I recommend having autosave on because if you're playing a game and you got really far, I recommend having it on so it autosaves and you don't have to start your whole game over. So I'm going to select my directory. So this one is my directory. ROMs capitalized. And I recommend you all name your folder ROM, R-O-M-S, in all caps so that you can easily tell where all of your game ROMs are. I don't recommend downloading ROMs on the Google web because it's pirated content. I don't recommend it. You can see all the supported systems here. These are when you have games. So it looks like I can play my Link Randomizer, which, yeah, that's there. So these are the four games I got. I got Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX, The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past with the Four Swords, Pokemon Yellow Special Pikachu, and then you got... The Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past Randomizer. Those are the coolest games, by the way. Let's go ahead and get started on some Pokemon, shall we? Anyway, guys, this is an exclusive game called the Yellow Special Pikachu version. It's definitely one of my favorites, so I highly recommend it. It's also by Game Freak. And then this is Professor Oak, one of the most, and also during the game you can open up this menu for in-game menu, click on settings for the palette, LCD ghosting, darken the screen, I don't recommend changing any of these, you can definitely change the colorization if you want, the internal palette is for like the different like Game Boy system palettes, I don't, I recommend the Game Boy Pocket, because that one gives you the best experience. You can edit the controls to wherever you want, and then click Done when you're done. You can load a save state, you can save your game at any time, you can mute the game. This is so you can mute your sound on your game, so if you find this to be useful, surely try it. There's a Pikachu. It looks like that definitely looks like Ash, you guys. Let's do Ash. It's definitely what I think the name is gonna be. So to exit a game, you have to press quit right here, and that takes you right back to the menu. So this is Discover. The recents is all the recent games you've played. So I highly recommend it. You can search for a game that you looked up. So for example, Pokemon yellow you see right there you'll find the game that you're looking for in case you have a large list of games that's what it's used for this rescan is if you have a lot of new games you click that 
Anyway, that is all I have today for this video, and free, feel free to subscribe to check out all my other new videos. Anyway, see you in the next video.